Hello everyone, welcome again to Mike's SAS Tutorials. Today I'm going to be jumping right into the SAS program. I'm going to be showing you today how to program your data into SAS uh, in a very basic way if you have uh, kind of a manual input method to input your data. And then I'm going to show you two procedures, PROC PRINT and PROC CONTENTS. And uh, I'm also going to show you another way that you can open your data set so that you can basically interface with the data set. So in SAS, to create a data set, you always start with the data statement and a data set name. And you end every statement with a semicolon. To um, end what we call a step, you add the run statement. Now, this becomes the data step. And later on, if we have a proc or a different procedure, like let's say proc print, this would be a proc step. There's something I call DPO flow, which is uh, which stands for data proc and then output flow. Uh, it's kind of like a simple way to remind myself that data should always precede the proc or procedure because if you have the procedure come first, then it might be running that procedure on a different data step or it may not be running it on the data at all like like if we had our proc print here and data main and let's say we had a variable in it and we wanted to see what that variable's values were if we were to run this sas would give us an error message it wouldn't know what what data set it's operating on if we go up here we can see in the log proc print there is not a default input data set so there was no data for that proc to run on that's why i follow dpo flow by starting out with my data step and then my proc steps. Now, from last time, you should remember that we uh, made a, we made code we wrote code to see that there were two variables x and y whose values were one and two um, in our data set main, and we printed data main to see the values um, of this data set. So if we run this again, we'll see what we had from last time in our results window here observation one observation x and y one and two just like last time now that's really pretty simple and basic if you're only going to have data for one subject or one participant or one machine whatever whatever your data is going to be on whatever your observations are going to be on it would be easy to just write out all the variable names and what their values were for that one observation but in st statistics, we all know that there's the law of large numbers, and obviously there's going to be tons of observations, and data in itself just operates in a kind of more than one subject way. And so we want to be prepared to write code that's going to allow us to input values for many observations. Now, what, what we do in SAS is we use the input statement and the card statement as a pair. Now, I'm going to go ahead and write out this kind of template code and explain what I mean by input and cards. Input is the statement we use to define what our variables are. Like let's say we had x and y again and I'm going to go ahead and add another variable z. Our data set now is going to have three variables. But notice that we didn't use our assignment operator to say that the values were equal to a specific uh, the variables were equal to a specific value. Now what we're going to do is define our variables first and then using this uh, card statement, input what those values are. So for example, if I know that I have three variables x, y, and z, our first subject, our first observation, has values of 1, 2, and 3. Now you're, you might be asking yourself, what's this other semicolon down here about? Well, the way the card statement works is it starts out just by saying cards, and then has a kind of closing semicolon down here to say that we've finished inputting our uh, our values for the variables within the data. So if we wanted to have another subject now, we can go on to a new line and add variables for that our values for the variables for that subject. So let's say seven, eight, nine. If we um, if we finished inputting our values for our variables, we can select all of our code we can hit the F8 key or push the running man to submit that code to SAS and SAS will throw it all into its processing and make a data set 
that now has three variables and two observations, one, two. If we wanted to see what that data looked like, we run the proc print, we hit F8 to run, and we see now observations, there's two, and here are the, variable, the values and the variables just like we wanted to see. Now that's exactly uh, the easiest way I can think of to see what the data looks like without going directly into the data or without using the contents procedure. Uh, the contents procedure, proc contents, is kind of a summary procedure to summarize the contents of a data set and uh, shows you a lot more information than what you might be looking for and doesn't necessarily show you what the values are. It just summarizes the data. So if I run proc contents on the main data set and hit this, the submit button, we'll see the output in our output window here. Now, uh, this may be a little smaller. I couldn't figure out how to enlarge the size of text here, but if you see down here in the bottom, it has an alphabetic listing of the variables and their attributes. Uh, don't worry too much about the attributes right now. Just go ahead and focus right here on the variable list. We have one, two, three variables, x, y, and z. We can see up here on top it has the number of observations, two, and then it has some uh, other extra information. We can go back to the editor and show you one more way of, I guess, inspecting or understanding your data set. And that's by going directly into the data. Now, I didn't specify a library name for this, and uh, I'll, I'll cover libraries in a lot more detail later on, but I want to show you first, we jump over to the Explorer tab, we go into Libraries, and we go to Work. Work is a, a library that SAS stores datasets temporarily in for its own internal processing. Uh, it can be very useful when you want to create datasets on the fly, when you want to create temporary datasets, and when you want to just read in datasets from another source but not affect the original dataset and run statistics on them. So here we have a, a SAS data object. If we double click it, we can see exactly how SAS is storing our dataset. We can see there are three variables, x, y, and z, and there's two observations, one and two. This is very much like an Excel spreadsheet version of our um, data. It's, and you can see here there was another tab created for it so that we can see the data set right there. If this is open, however, we can't modify it. So what we want to do is right click on there and hit close. All right, so now we're back to our editor window. We've uh, introduced the input statement to define variables. We've introduced the card statement to explain how we can input the values for those variables. We've introduced the proc print so we can print out the output, proc content so we can summarize the data set. And we've kind of gone into libraries a little bit, but I'm definitely going to show you in more detail later on what libraries are all about. So that's just a very simple way to create a data set on the fly for uh, a handful of observations. Uh, tune in next time. I'll explain how we can read in data sets from another source using uh, the import, import procedure and then the infile procedure, uh, infile statement, and show you just a little bit more detail on data. All right, thank you very much, and see you next time.